Start the battle! That set up we just saw Nano S beat one Pikachu. Now he's got to do it again. Got the conversion on the platform into the flying slam. That's 79 already as he now looks at the edge guard. Tries to catch him going high with the up smash. Thought uh, H4 was going to look to avoid the two frame F tilt and go high, but just went to ledge instead. And Warner will wait out the spot dodge, finds the grab. Has the flame breath, but H4 able to avoid it. Now, oh, whiffing the grab again, just being tossed off. Throws tries to the F-Tilt this time, but this, now H4 goes high, connects it, and the back air almost cross stage is gonna kill. The slow walk across the stage through these, uh, T-Jolts. But Edgeguard, Basil's having trouble doing it, looks like H4 is the same. Oh no, but now Aerodot is offstage, he'll time to find it, but it's only a weak spot, so Nano is able to attack, comes back on this time eating the f smash. Now the percent is evened up quite a bit, but looks the f smash again, not quite gonna get it, but it's not out of the woods just yet, I said that last time, sorry. Uh, Nano S needs to get off the lead here, try to jump on, catch him with the down air through the platform. Has full rage here, H4, needs to be careful. H4 gonna be able to pick up this leg trap and then get the effort to reset it. Back here. Nope. Get him with an F tilt. You know, it's pretty far off, but still staying alive. Teach 4 will eat his first damage to the stock from the magnifying glass before taking that flame breath, but now the up tilt up air connects. Now into forward air, this is a scary spot for H4 as he looks at the two frame, not quite gonna get it. Look, the Elfman's not gonna get it either. And now H4 just trying to find something. The back air, not gonna do it yet at 206. And up smash still not gonna do it. The weak and up smash because he'll just bomb back to ledge and catch him with a get up attack, eating more damage here. His dash attack. Starts to come, uh, come out and F tilt will do it and Nano S is staying alive! Uh, 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 uh! And now it next with an uppie. How much extra, extra credit can he get? Hitting there and crouch. And finally the backer will do it. I think like 230. But you gotta do it all over again. Backer can start it though. Yeah, edge guards can be big if he cleans them up. Nano Ash has avoided them so far, but maybe not until now. The down air into the back air, and now he catches another spike, and now he has to go low, but that's too low as H4 takes the stock. And all he needs to do is do that again before Nano Ash hits him like two times. Which, with Pikachu, super dual, but he eats the flame breath two frame, avoids the F tilt at least. They're gonna hold on for now. But Nano Ash definitely gonna be extra careful. Finds the flying slam, almost getting onto the platform. Drop on. Now we get some air loops starting. How far can he go? Only to 41. So he saw him, uh, he saw the flame breath and thought he was gonna get hit by it, so started holding away to try to STI out. But actually got the back there hit and then uh, dropped it. Oh, this oh, I was wrong. Oh, this flying slam killing. Uh, but actually then dropped it because he drifted away. Started to get some things working. Uh, and that's actually we saw we saw an edge guard actually connect. Those can be huge if uh, each board is able to find more of those. Okay, taking him to town. Uh, we we saw this can be rough for this matchup. Bowser can just kill so early on town. The 
Good down throw. Gets his protect in. Has the MS off stage. Looks at a boosted platform run off. He's oh no! The pineapple zipping straight up into the stage there. Extremely tragic, but he's looking to at least put right back with these forward air edge guards. Gets onto the ledge and tears Nano Ash away from it. Tried to hold the way to avoid something, but we're gonna even up stocks. Uh, basically an FD, SD apiece. Nice 57 right off the bat. And retreating forwarders. So I can control the space. H4 trying to challenge him on the platform, runs to roll through and then find the grab. Now H4 needs to get off here, but good forward air! H4 not ready for that. Not the greatest DI, I think. And just dying so low percent. I mean, his battles are on town, but not even a kill spark. Now the Nerloop start, gets some nice percent off of it. Keep Nano Ash in the air, trades with a dash attack there. Nano is able to now come down with the flame, but so much percent. H4 may still be the one with him in the corner, but he ate quite a bit for it, probably more than he wanted, but he'll take what he can get. Up tilt looks to the up air, but H4 is going to get his way back down with a quick attack. Looking to the edge guard, but the quick up beats the Nano Ash to beat that out. Now finding the forward air, looking for the two, uh, ledge trap, but H4 dropping off to avoid that after. Look for the drag down there. Probably not gonna kill Bowser. Must get, like, right on the corner. Alright, back where we get him off stage, gonna refresh the jump on the platform. Give him enough mix to get back, now finds the... Uh, throw off stage, but looks low. Now, it's gonna go to the other side of the stage, doesn't want to contest with that flame breath or risk of the two frame F tilt. Try to run in, connects him with the back air. Really delay from the Anowatch. Oh, jab into side B. That'll almost do it. Looking at the forward air afterwards, but H4 gets back on the stage with quick attack. And up tilt will do it. The Anowatch taking game two. Let's see, can Nano Ash complete the Pika Gauntlet, winning- can he win six straight games in a row against Pikachus? Fourth of them on Town and City. Air loop starting right off the bat, gets the first re-grab, gets the second re-grab, now how long can the up tilts go? Not even getting one, Nano Ash getting down first, and shielding in time, and now the flying slam onto the platform, looking to run off forward air. Not gonna do it, H4 will get a lead prep out of this, catch him with the back air. It's some percent, but it only puts them back in center, so don't live with it. Looks the conversion. Get down there this time, and F Smash actually gonna do it so early. This is why, as I mentioned, Town City can make Bowser die much earlier than you'd expect. Finally, we see that come into action in the advantage rather than on the other side. A good up nice to catch that with attack. Deleting the T Jolt in the process. Now, as the stock lead, so actually has some space to kind of slow down the game with uh, T-Jolt if he really wants to. He has Nano Ash in the corner and he wants to make the most out of it. Good parry into the missed tech, catches him with the back air. Now, drag down on the platform in the down smash. This could do it and it will! Town and City finally starting to turn in H4's favor. Looking for the Tomahawk. Great spacing though to have had the... Held in just till the like, last moment, made Nano Ash think he could get the grab, and then drifting away to stop it lately. Now, give it grab back throw, will do it. Oh, bad. Keep this going. The 72 looks to reset on the platform, not quite gonna get it. Now, up to 87, looking for the edge guard though. Does need to be careful. Obviously, Bowser can do Bowser things. Looking for the down smash, so much shield pushback. Oh, trying to commit, trying to catch uh, H4 committing in. Not gonna work out this time. 
great timing on the get uh beat that now going off stage looking for the backer not quite gonna find in the rising nair just to get a torch in space he'll go super deep for the backer and that will not quite do it able to get his way back but doesn't have enough recovery routes for a torch and not just be able to punish that and we have a set All of Aston's stage pick this time. So neither of them are going to get the, the super small black side blast zone to benefit from. But having a platform so close to basically anyone that just mean these side bees from the Anoak are basically always going to be able to land on the platform and be able to control it. And that can make h potentially die super early. I need these small hits so far. Off stage, and Arkham connects with the D Jolt, and then the spike new tech from Nano Ash and H4. With a strong start to this. D Jolt to begin. Nano Ash gonna deal with them. And go run in, catches him with the landing back air, looks for a second one, but Nano Ash is grasping at air here. H4 gets him off stage again, fakes him out this time, but now it's still able to get back just fine. So up tilt into the drag down, great conversion off that. Even at pretty high percent. <laughs> Having some problems approaching the Eagle, he's a down smash. A4 gets another opportunity to ledge trap here, but commits to the backer and getting an F tilt for it. Now he's trying to run off the forward air. A4's going to go to the other ledge, though. Try to quick tack and he'll get it. Catches the up air afterwards, too. Anoash is trying to get in, eating the drag down back air. This time, doesn't even need the thunder con to connect. Anoash is going to lose his stock. He comes in, finds the up tilt, finds the up air. Neither are enough. Even F tilt from center not going to do it, but anything if a ledge could do it, too. Come back for down tilt. Needs the whole kit if he has to, but as extra starts to work through, and he eats the counter, it's able to recover it, though. Before not even uh, trying to contest anything further, maybe thought that was enough. Asked to get off the ledge here. H4 with the full stock to work with. Definitely uh, willing to maybe do some riskier things, but need an up smash. You know, it's already up to 110. Good down B to get back though. Not an option we've seen him uh, pull quite a bit. The ledge. Oh, almost had the back there after that for the F smash punish. And H4 finds the spike. And we are at game five. The day of Pikachu is starting, maybe. Pokemon Pen sitting in grands and waiting for each four. <laughs> this time's Smashville. Similar to basically everything I said last time, but slightly different blast zones, different platform heights. Forward air trades that time, but H Anoash still gonna be fine. Just have to get off the ledge, he'll run off with a fair. That'll do it for now. Ain't even, but good grab from Anoash. We've been avoiding a lot of these like stray hits when Anoash trying to get the, the like follow up with these up airs and forward airs. We already saw him get so much damage before, especially against Maze. H4 has been ready for 
We're at H4, catching the late hit of the up F smash. That's not gonna kill. There's the drag down, doesn't get him all the way to the ground though. Down smash from there would be really close, but I don't think Bowser dies. Under the stage this time, Anna's able to get there at least to get the ledge strap. Tries to empty hop, but we're gonna cover it. Get this run in. There's the flying slam onto the platform, but he does have pretty high blast zones, so if we're gonna live that for now, tries to jump back. He doesn't have a double jump here, so H4 looking to finish the recovery. And he's gonna, oh, save him, but yeah, he's gonna save him even without the tech. Maybe H4 not realizing that he had no double jump, but I don't know if he had any options to quick attack around that and not save him. Basically only need one hit here. Gets a big enough one up, he's not gonna do it though. But an F tilt, down tilt, forward air, back air. Even back throw near the side, potentially. Because you need basically something off stage. Landing hitbox. Getting him there. Maybe, maybe one hit was giving Pika too much credit. Up throw's not to do it. Sounds are way too heavy for that. The stage has the bigger blast zones, but good to frame with the F tilt. So I'm looking for earlier. Finally gets it. But using the using the invulnerability. Just getting the up tilt punishing that quick attack. But now early percent combos from H4 start. Gets a nice 39 before just trading with a single two hit. Uh do almost the same. The flame breath damage this is pretty good. been trying to call out when he thinks H4 is going to run in, but H4 hasn't been running in most of these times. Thunder, but he air dodged and threw it. No time. Now I need to get through these. Uh, oh, he jolt again. Pretty even percent, though. We saw how much struggle uh, H4 had killing last time, even without the platform boost. Plenty enough to kill. And now, going out of the. Well, what's the Ezra? He'll get it with the forwarder. And now, one stock each, 0%. Game 5, losers, finals. The lightning loop start. How long can they go? Needs the third grab, but grabs the wrong way. And now I see I'm through it. And now able to get just the same percent back with the Chijol just stopping that up until right before it could hit Pikachu. That'll keep him going for now. He tries to up be on the platform. Oh, back here, but facing the wrong way. I think. Looking to send him off stage. Maybe even thought he was facing off stage, but it's on the right there afterwards. Oh, no. Okay. Kick the table. Everything's fine. Good pivot up tilt. Sense are staying so even. Great use of the armor on the up tilt this time, just beating out the big attack. That's why we see him using it. And T Jolt was trying to grab these forward airs and good enough drift from A4 to avoid it, but the T Jolt the wrong way is going to get the analyst back on stage. Missing these beer reverses can be crucial in such a tense set. Good carries. Not going to be enough. Forward smash now connecting. Air dodge is a little early, but still able to get back to stage A4. Looked like he was trying to threaten out the trunk there. There's the down throw forward air. How hard is he gonna commit? Catches out the jump and he gets him with the weak spot. Dan Lash not